the indication to apply thumb spiker splint is uh, suspected uh, scaphoid fracture non angulated non displaced extra articular fracture of the base of the first metacarpal bennett fracture it is used for fracture of the scaphoid or fracture of the thumb metacarpal or proximal phalanx first you need to assess distal pulse motor and sensation apply padding and split material to the distal aspect of the forearm and covering the thumb wrist should be in slight uh, extension approximately 20% with thumb in functional position uh, please remember that you have to uh, keep the nail bed uh, open to check uh, check for the capillary refill thumb spiker may be fashioned from one wide splint that runs along the thumb and the radial aspect of the wrist two separate non pre padded plaster splints keeping the hand in neutral position first measure the splint right from the thumb to the mid forearm many people advocate to put thumb slight up and uh, i prefer to keep it in a in a cup holding position it's lot easier A thumb spiker immobilizes the wrist and the thumb. The thumb spiker applies to any dressing that encompasses a main trunk plus one or more of its branches. In this case, the forearm plus the thumb. Apply padding and splint material to the radial aspect of the forearm and covering the thumb. Wrist should be in slight extension, approximately 20 degree with the thumb in functional position. Not too much padding. to put extra pressure keep extra padding on the bony prominence like wrist where you need extra padding and then wrap the soft roll uh, 50% as you go up the wrist piece run along the extensor aspect of the hand and forearm beginning at the metacarpal heads and ending just short of the antecubital crease we go up to the mid forearm and for the long thumb spiker up to the elbow but for most uncomplicated injury mid forearm is fine ask the patient to envision holding a can soda so pre measure this pre measure splint or measure it when you are applying it you can tear the splint very easily many people do splint while uh, wrapping it around at the end because there are pressure point there three to four layers in the end of the soft roll again um, keep the rule of 50% of the layer wet your splint into hot water most books say tap it water but hot water is much faster and using my finger to remove excess water to mold the sp- strips together and then by using cut ends to mold it around and on one last round of soft roll check your molding is fine keep your thumb like holding a cup make sure the edges are smooth and let it rest to take the plaster for 5 to 10 minutes i like to tear my splint into three sections forming a w now take the crab bandage uh, you don't want to keep it uh, really tight just a stretch to apply uh, compression and again 50% of the layer and get to the end
wrist should be in slight extension approximately 20 degree with thumb in functional position ask your patient to envision holding a soda can ask the patient to envision holding a can soda maintain positioning until splint material hardens reassess distal pulse motor and sensation and secure splint to forearm